the TID radio TDH3 and H8, and particularly H3, is a fantastic radio. Certainly uh, has everything that you really need. The menu, the function selection, very intuitive, very quick and easy, and the display is great. And there's a couple of features here that I just find fantastic. Uh, one is the wireless copy, and the other one is you can mo uh, listen to a transmission, get the frequency, get the tones, and then you can store that into the channel that you prefer. First thing you need to do is determine the channel you want to save it because you don't want to overwrite a channel that you want to keep. So I selected channel 187, and if I hit the one, and hold it down. Channel 187 shows up. That's the fr uh, the uh, channel that it will be stored if I hit that. And then, oh. I guess we got someone else here monitoring. Oh yes, that's a repeater here. Let me turn that down. I'll turn that off. Okay. So, success. And if I want to save it to that channel, notice the frequency, 438. I hold the Bluetooth button or the menu button. I guess they're both. I hold it down for a few seconds, release it, go out. There you go. Channel 187. And let me just reverse that. Okay, and I'm going to select 145. Oops, I hit the wrong one. Let me try this one. There you go. 145. Hit the Bluetooth. Hit the menu. And that's the frequency. Very handy if you want to share a frequency with a buddy without having to program it very quick. And also, if you want to find out the tones that are being used so that you can join the conversation or be heard, that's a good way to find out. And you, and you can save it. Even though your partner may have a totally different radio, for example, the TDH, he wants to share a frequency with you, and you want to store it, it will work. So it doesn't matter. As long as it's an H3. Wireless copy. First you gotta do, turn off the radio, hold this pushed little small function button, turn it on, wireless copy. Do the same to the other radio, turn it on, wireless copy. Now you have to determine, I want this radio to clone to that one. So. What I would do is hit the function button first. I'm just going to prove, see if it works with the audio, audio turned down. There you go. I hit. Eighteen hundred fifty-four. The master is in red, and the radio that's going to be programmed is in green.
So we've got 34 out of 54. I got two more ordered, two green ones, over the camping trip that we took. It was great, everyone having a radio, no matter where they are, playing around with the kids, fishing. We all had communication, even uh, when outside the trailer, talking to someone inside the trailer. No shouting, <laughs> no having to walk and holler uh, for a person to hear. There we go, success. So, you program one radio the way you want it. Don't have to even bother anymore with Audio Master or even uh, Chirp. You, you just do it once, one radio, save it, and then clone the rest to all your other radios. And if you make a change on one frequency, you can also just match the memory and you can update all the radios. Very handy. Okay, and to get out of this mode, you basically turn it off and on. Okay, and I'll turn this one off and on. There you go. Same thing. I just use these frequencies because it's uh, not being used, not causing any, any interference. If you haven't guessed, I'm very impressed with these radios. If interested, I've provided a link to the site where you can get a 10% discount by entering simply off grid life. Your support is appreciated.